Shalom lekulam. Hi everybody. Now we are not from our house in the Galilee. We are in the Golan Heights and behind us you can see there is a tank. Now this is an ancient tank. <laughs> it's a tank from my time when I was a tank commander. That was the type of tank that I used to um, use. Now we are here in a memorial place for a, a brigade number seven up here in the Golan Heights. And so today we wanted also to update you on what's going on. We're sure you know that the war has continued. No more ceasefire. The army, the infantry, the tanks are moving also to the south in Gaza. And the situation in the north is still pretty tense. Mm -hmm. But here we are, yep. in this beautiful day. Yep. Here we are in the Golan Heights um, where there's been sirens and rockets and the missiles. But you know, it's it's it doesn't really matter where you go. You, you just you just walk by the spirit and say, "Okay, Lord, you want us to come up here? We had to pick up some boxes. Thank you, Lord, for our precious friends that are sending us some items we need. Yeah. It's just a, such a gift to us." But when Noam looks at me and he says, "Beloved, I used to be in that tank," it <laughs> takes my breath away. It was in the first Lebanon War, right. and it just takes my breath away. And I think about all of our soldiers here. But I woke up with the word established. And as soon as the Lord gives me a word, I look at my husband, the Hebrew dictionary, and I say, what does the word established mean in Hebrew? And oh. say the word really slow. Okay, there are a few words actually, but I want to focus on one, lechonen. And why I focus on this one? Because in this word, you have also the word lekaven, which means to direct. Mm -hmm. So there is a connection between establishing yourself and the direction that you are heading to. Actually, what you establish should reflect the direction that you are going. So good. So if it's something in the spirit or whether it's something in the physical. Mm -hmm. And we are here talking about a spiritual issue. Yeah. And so we are here to establish ourselves spiritually. And my beloved came up with a scripture in Colossians yes. that just fits the bill. Yeah, because when Noam began to tell me this, I said, you know, we're so, we need to be established in our faith, rooted in our faith, and also recognize that Yeshua, God Almighty, established this teeny strip of land, which is a lot bigger than it is, but we're going to see that in the kingdom. Um, but here it is amongst 22 Arab nations and here's this little strip of land uh, called Israel where God said this is where I place my name he's marked his name he's marked the return his, the soon coming kingdom of God uh, where Yeshua will rule and reign from here everything everything in this this beautiful strip of land with the word established so no man it doesn't matter what no man is going to uh, move this strip of land because we're here and the Jewish people are here. And it's Colossians 2, 7. It says, having been firmly rooted and now being built up in him and established in your faith, just as you were instructed by the word and overflowing with gratitude. I woke up so happy this morning, so grateful, so full of gratitude, Lord, that Noam and I are established in our walk with the Spirit of God. We're established here in the land, and God has established this land for His people. Right, and in a few days we are having Hanukkah, mm -hmm. and actually Hanukkah means to re-establish. Yeah. But that will be for another time, we'll yeah. talk about Hanukkah, but it just all is connected. It's all connected. I just want to remind you that we have everything everything that man desires to have we when it's winter you can ski on mount hermon the beautiful um sea of galilee the jordan river the mediterranean the mountains valleys deserts we have it all the lord has so blessed us here in this land and we are established because of god's forever word that is established in the heavens reflects down here on earth as Thank he's given Lord. us his word of God, which is like an, and it's, it's an inheritance. It's a forever inheritance for his people, um, for his Jewish people and his people Israel. Right. So we are 
blessed. And we wanted to share this with you, even amongst all the tanks, even amongst in the middle of the war, establish your faith. Be firm. Yeah. Go in the direction, because just like Noam said, mm -hmm. establishment is like a direction, right, yes, Noam? Yes, it's connected. You establish something according to the direction that your life is taking yeah. you, or the direction that you want to go. Yeah. And accordingly, you establish whatever it is, whether it's a company, or whether it's your walk. Yeah. And mm -hmm. right now, the Lord wants His people to call upon His name to again establish, remind each one of us, we need to be established and rooted in His Word and what He has said, not what man says, not what man says, mm -hmm. what He has said. So we just blink, bless you in the middle of the Golden Heights yep. on the most beautiful day. It's perfect. The breeze mm -hmm. is coming and activity. We are blessed and we thank you for uh, for sharing our videos because we're finding out that a lot of our videos are not um, being shared, not being shared, not coming up on your uh, mm -hmm. feed and people are getting a hold of us. And of course we can't do anything about it, but that's why we just ask and thank you for loving on us and praying for us and sharing our videos. Right, and to order to establish anything, you need to be firm and your faith need to be solid in order to establish something. So that's also, it's, it really is like the fruit of your walk, of a solid walk of faith, and yeah. then you can establish. Yeah, whatever direction you're heading yeah. in. Yes. And the only direction we say to all of us is straight into the arms of the Lord, straight into His purposes and oh, His plans. That's where the peace that passes all understanding. So we bless you from the Golden Heights. Yes, and thank you again for keeping yeah. keeping in touch with us and really for your support. Yes. Love and blessing from Israel. Shalom, shalom. shalom.